Okay. In this case, I'm going to make what's uh, what what's usually called a pineapple. So what you're going to do is you want uh, four leaves attached together at the bottom. If you watch my previous segment, you'll see you just uh, take the the four leaves and separate them carefully, um, but leave them attached at the bottom. All right. And um, I also like to snip off the the tips so that they're not too spindly. Um, it makes it easier to feed the, the leaves through. Um, and like I said, if you've got these little extra strings, you can just uh, cut them off, pull them off. Okay. Okay. Um, if you've made lanyards before, this should seem fairly familiar, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the first, the two leaves in the middle, in the, in the center, um, and you're going to cross them so that they're going in opposite directions. All right. Then you're going to take a leaf from one side and you're going to go over and under. All right. Then you're going to take the leaf from the other side and you're going to go over and under and make sure that you're coming out in between uh, the two leaves here like this so that it locks them together. All right. If you come, if you go out the other side, it, the, it doesn't lock together. Right. So basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to make a, a woven little box, right? Okay. Now, in uh, the other video I showed you that you're, you keep making the layers the same, the same direction, right? Um, but if in this case, we're going to make it spiral. So the way to do that is to take the leaves and go across the box like a diamond, right? So we'll go across and across like a diamond, right? And you're going to take the 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 uh, leaves from the side, and you're going to go perpendicular to those and go across, right? Feed this one through here. This causes this to spiral. If the leaf doesn't have enough body, you can cut it down a little further so that it, so that you're not fighting with it to get through. <clears throat> okay, and then you tighten up that layer. All right. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going across, 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 and across. tip is too thin to get through, just cut it off. Oh. To give it a little more body.
And you keep on going every layer. Makes another layer. And if you see, if you look at the side, you see how these um, layers are starting to to spin. So you see, it gives a kind of a nice round shape to it. Um, they spin. And uh, this in particular, I think, looks really kind of cool when you tie them off uh, the top. I just make like a simple, sorry, a simple knot. Um, can leave them loose like I showed in the previous video but a simple knot uh, you want to pull it tight but be careful not to break them um, they can give it kind of a flame look to it but that's it basically uh, you know that's the way it looks